Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to add um, animations to um, to distance cars uh, in, as a part of the import process. Now this tutorial is a little bit more advanced so I'm not going to be going over any of the stuff that I talked about in the original tutorial. Uh, if you want to know any of the details on that I will put a link to that tutorial in the description of this video so you can go ahead and check it out. Um, so as you can see I've already done most of the work um, and all that's left is just to kind of set up animation. So I'll guide you through kind of the steps that you need to take. Um, before we begin, I want to take a note and mention that the model that you see here is made by RC Studios. Um, he is an individual who's just recently joined the Discord community. You may have seen a couple of his posts if you're active on the Discord server, and he does models. Uh, he cranked this bad boy out, and I'd say probably about uh, half a day. I'm not sure exactly how long it took him, but as you can see, the model is very high quality. Um, here's some other pictures of modeling work that he's done, um, but I am in short order going to be paying him for an Iridium model, and I'll be posting pictures and gameplay once I um, once I've got that done, once he's finished it, and once I've imported it. Uh, so, anyways, on to the tutorial. Um, so, in order to set up animations, there are a couple of steps you need to perform. First first is to create a base animation and a wings open animation. You can do that uh, in Unity by just hitting create um, and then hit animation and then that'll create um, a blank animation and then you want to, as I forgot to do it here, uh, it's important on both the animations to enter debug mode, set them as legacy, name it base animation and then wings open. Uh, no matter if you want um, a wings open animation or if you're just like looking for a boost animation or an overheat animation, which you can add, um, you just need to name them accordingly. Um, you will always need the base animation here. Um, additionally, you need to set up a um, an animation property on the very root of the car. Um, and then you need to set the animation size to 2, set base animation, wings and uh, wings open animation, or whichever other animation you need. You don't need to list all of them, just the ones that you need. However, no matter how many you add, you will need the base animation uh, element right there in the first slot. Um, additionally, you're going to want to have to create another game object on the root of the um, on the root of the game object file. You're going to want to name that hash blend um, because that tells you what kind of animations the game wants to uh, wants to put into the um, in, into the file once it's imported and there are a couple of other options you can choose but uh, I'm only going to show you just one for this tutorial so once you've got all that lined up once you have added the uh, animation component in the root of the object once you've created these two files in the folder for whatever car project you're working on uh, you're going to want to go ahead and select whatever it is you want to add and make sure you've got the animation console right here if you don't um, you can add it by clicking on the console and the um, I can't remember exactly how you do it. Alright, so it's just going to be the window and animation. You can also um, add it by hitting Control 6 on your keyboard, and that will add the animation window uh, down here, which you will need. So once you've clicked on the um, piece that you want to animate, we're going to be animating four different objects around the car. Uh, you want to go ahead and just click to the part on the timeline that you want it to animate to. Now this is the end of the timeline. Uh, it says a minute, but Really, it's just kind of a couple of seconds, um, or one second, rather. I think these are microseconds here. Anyways, you want to click where on the timeline you want it to be. If you want, for example, the wings to open first and then these to open later, then you just want to set those um, to wherever you want them to be. Uh, make sure that this little recording button is on, uh, because if, if it isn't, whatever changes you make here are not going to stick. So. With that being said, all that's left to do is to move the object to where you want it to be. And it's open. And then you hit the recording button again to turn off recording mode. 
And then when you hit the play button, that'll show you kind of a sample of what it'll look like once it's finished. Now, um, this doesn't really work for me because it kind of opens and then moves back. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the file here to change the center point. So I'm going to go ahead and set the center point subject to right there. And then move the 3D cursor, the opposite part of the map, it's nice and symmetrical, and then re-export this. And then the nice thing about Unity is that it just automatically kind of works itself around it. So if you don't like the way the animation turned out, you can just remove the properties. Uh, as you can see here, however, changing the origin has also changed some other properties with the wings, so you might have a couple of stumbling blocks as far as that's concerned. It's completely normal. Um, don't worry about it. Make sure that the recording button isn't on. And if you're worried about that, just change out of the um, recording tab, animation recording tab. All right. Oh, that looks about right. Okay, and then once you've got it the way that you want it to be, just hit record. Let's do, yeah, right there. And easy as that. And select the other option. And then you'll be able to see the wings kind of open nice and gently. Um, two other objects that I am going to animate are going to be these ones right here, which I forgot to select and export. So let's go ahead and set those to 30 seconds and then just raise them up. And then bingo. Now the animations are all set. Uh, and since everything else on the project has already kind of been made, I've already set everything else up the way I want. All I got to do is drag this out, set an asset bundle name, and I it wants to work. There we go. All right, now with all that done, um, just give you an idea of what the animations look like in game. Let's do chroma. Seems like a chroma kind of car. Some nice, smooth wing animations. And that's it. That's my tutorial on animations. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to address them. If necessary, I can make a more advanced tutorial for different features um, that uh, that the um, that are offered with the Unity Studios and the tutorials that I used. All the resources that I used to make the tutorial um, are going to be in the 
um, video description um, and yeah if you guys have anything else you want me to cover then just let me know